and it's being called a blatant display of racism. When you filled out your application to Princeton, to Harvard Law School, did you list yourself as an Hispanic? Do you got a favorite Cuban food, Cuban dish? Do you like Cuban music? Do you have a favorite Cuban singer? Oh, brother. That reporter facing serious backlash for how he questioned Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz. What if a Democrat was asked the same questions? Would they have a problem with that? Laura Ingram reacts in about 90 seconds. Now, Laura Ingram thinks about all this. Before we talk about real stuff, can we talk about this the This is real Laura? stuff. I know, but Laura, I know you're more of a college fan, but what do you think yeah. about this, Tom Brady Payne? Are you jotting it down now? What do you think? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not the expert on politics like you are, Brian, but look, and I know people have very strong views on this. He's a phenomenal quarterback. I happen to be a Redskins fan, but if a Redskins quarterback did this, I would say the same thing. If you cheated, I think it matters. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's four games or two games or five. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how they calculate that. Maybe that was unfair. I don't know. But I do think that people who say, well, it doesn't matter. It's just deflating the ball. I mean, it's like scuffing a baseball. And what's the difference? Well, y you know this, Brian. And a few inches in football can determine, can determine an outcome. We saw that happen during the playoffs, right? Where, or, or in the college, college uh, really important college bowl games. A few inches here or there. It could turn a game. I'm not sure. saying that happened here, but I do think rules matter. They should apply to everybody. Right. Maybe the, the NFL needs to have a consistent uh, response every time something like this happens. Maybe that would reassure people. I don't know. But he did do the same thing, kind of, that Hillary did in a way. He refused <laughs> to turn over the emails. Right. That's the big right? problem. Why? I, I don't know. And then to the process. She got away with it so far. He did yeah. Where the, Where's so, the server, Tom? Does he have his own server? <laughs> they might turn it up later. Who knows? So mm. rules matter. Do words matter, particularly in a college commencement speech? And I'm talking about the one that First Lady uh, Michelle Obama actually gave at Tuskegee University. This is what she said, and then we'll react. The road ahead is not going to be easy. It never is, especially for folks like you and me. Because while we've come so far, the truth is that those age-old problems are stubborn. And they haven't fully gone away. We've both felt the sting of those daily slights throughout our entire lives. The folks who crossed the street in fear of their safety. The clerks who kept a close eye on us in all those department stores. The people at formal events who assumed we were the help. And those who have questioned our intelligence, our honesty, even our love of this country. And I know that these little indignities are obviously nothing compared to what folks across the country are dealing with every single day. Those nagging worries that you're going to get stopped or pulled over for absolutely no reason. The fear that your job application will be overlooked because of the way your name sounds. So rate her commencement speech there, Laura. Um, well, uh, it's very uplifting, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> very I'm positive. Ready to go out and very tackle the well, world. It, wouldn't it have been interesting if Michelle campaigned with that tone and demeanor, demeanor and mm -hmm. substance in 2008 uh, or 2012? Uh, will the real Michelle please stand up? I went back and I looked at her old thesis from Princeton. A lot of common themes from what she said at Tuskegee to what she wrote about. Uh, as a Princeton undergrad. Uh, as a Princeton undergrad, she bemoaned the fact that, that Princeton University, like so many elite universities, cater to their white alumni and their white student body, mm -hmm. both socially and academically. She bemoaned the fact that Afro-American Studies Department at Princeton was so small and that there weren't enough uh, African-American professors. She talked about black culture versus white culture. Uh, a lot of, she, she felt like a, almost a stranger at Princeton, mm -hmm. even though she was an undergrad. There was a lot of, a lot of writing that's about the division on campus. A lot of similar strains, yeah. and yet, yet that's not the way she obviously campaigned for her president, so that's interesting. Another interesting thing is Tuskegee University was in part founded by Booker T. Washington. And Booker T. Washington, one of my favorite uh, historical figures, uh, one of his most famous quotes is, character, not circumstances, make the man. And he warned yeah. about associating with people of bad character, uh, associate with people of good character, not bad character, because mm -hmm. that, that could uh, have a huge effect on your life. Now, that is a message of empowerment to sure. people, that you're going to be, you're sure you're going to suffer indignities, uh, but you can overcome them. So it, it, was a, it was an odd speech, I thought, for someone who has spent the last, you know, seven or eight years trying to show everybody the positive, you know, 
uplifting, hopeful right. side of, of her and her husband's um, uh, uh, presidency. So I think it's deflecting a lot of what's happening now uh, on the streets in Baltimore. Right. I mean, uh, seven years hasn't really helped the black community, right? I mean, uh, he has been president for the last seven years. So you right. go back to the well of division. That's what Michelle knows really well. I think this is the real Michelle Obama, and I'm glad she's uh, showing us now. I wish she showed us in 2008. Okay. Uh, we're going to play a clip for you. Is this the real Mark Halperin? He's uh, <laughs> a political anchor or reporter over at Bloomberg now, and he conducted what has been regarded at, uh, described as the most racist interview of the 2016 <laughs> cycle, where he tries to, uh, it looks like a gotcha thing with Ted Cruz. We're going to play some of it and get your reaction after this. Watch this. When you filled out your application to Princeton, to Harvard Law School, did you list yourself as an Hispanic? Oh, sure. I've listed myself as Cuban-American. That's, that's, that's my heritage and my background. You got a favorite Cuban food, Cuban dish? Oh, I grew up eating Cuban food all the time. What's uh, my your favorite dish? My, uh, you know, picadillo. Right, finally, we want to give you the opportunity to directly welcome your colleague, Senator Sanders, to the race, and I'd like you to do it, if you would, en espanol. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to stick to English, and I, <laughs> but I appreciate the in invitation, senor. Mark Halperin has wow. since kind of apologized, said he got the tone wrong. What's going on there? Well, what if you had asked that question of an uh, African-American candidate? What black foods do you like? What, you know, it's just, yeah. to me, it just seems, it seems so obvious. It's, it, and it's part of the gotcha of journalism that we should come to expect. It always happens to conservatives, especially someone who's more of a, a uh, I think, classic Reagan conservative like Cruz. It doesn't surprise me at all. But we should expect a lot of this. It will also happen to Jeb Bush. You're going to see a lot more questions of Bush uh, that I think, you know, they're going to try to trip him up. Yeah. So Cruz, I think, handled it about as well as you can. Uh, but I thought we got rid of literacy tests in English. But now we <laughs> have a literacy test in Spanish. Right. Okay. Hey, Laura, right, you know, I thought, I, what I love that Ted Cruz said, no reason to apologize. I'm okay with it. Yeah, he was all Yeah, class. I mean, he doesn't speak Spanish well. So what? I think jo Jeb Bush's wife probably doesn't speak <clears throat> English all that well from what I hear. Is that a big deal? No. Nope. Uh, you know, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, to me, this, it's, it's all very predictable. Halperin's a better journalist than that, I think. I think he does some pretty good work. So, uh, you know, all look, right. we all mess up. Maybe that's just a, yep. a momentary <clears throat> lapse. Maybe so. All right. Laura, great Laura to thank see you. you very much. Go do your Adios. radio show. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego.